Steve Corderier. I'm not feeling well. I'm not sure I want to wake up. This time a year ago the Shrewsbury town manager Steve Cotterill was fighting for his life in the intensive care unit of a West Country hospital, so no wonder he will be emotional when he hears before the FA Cup third round tie at Anfield this afternoon. If that doesn't get the hairs up on the back of your neck, then nothing will, says Cotterill who spent 50 days in hospital over two spells last year. I was a bit scared to go to sleep one night, because I felt really, really poorly, and I wasn't sure I was going to wake up. Then the following night, I was that poorly that I went to sleep and I thought, ah oh well, what's the point in worrying about it because if I feel this bad I am not sure I want to wake up anyway. Thankfully, I had some great people who looked after me at the Bristol Royal Infirmary, and I will never forget them. Cotterill still needs people to look after him and he needs to look after himself, somewhat belatedly. Fit, healthy, abstemious, when it came to alcohol, he still can't work out why coronavirus took such a grip on him, besides the obvious fact that he hadn't been vaccinated a year ago. After he sailed through his first two vaccinations, the manager had his booster in November, hit me for six, and he spent three days in bed. However, he wouldn't have it any other way, as he is still dealing with the effects of his illness a year on. I go back and see my specialist, I have chest x-rays, I have all the heart checks that you need to have, but at the end of the day they don't know where I should be 6 or 12 months after having it, Cotterell said. I am okay, during the day, but by 8 p.m., I am in bed. By 9 p.m., that's me, I'm done. So that late night of watching a film or seeing the end of the football. Rest is an important part of my rehabilitation when you have got long COVID. So all of that is about managing your time. I know now when it is time to rest. My delegation skills have got better. Cotterell wonders about other managers, however and wouldn't have to look far if Jurgen Klopp is in the home technical area, should he have emerged from isolation after contracting the virus. A lot of Premier League managers have gone down recently with it, Cotterell said. They have had a lot of game. Even when you have the best team, you have stress about the next game because you are under pressure to win it. Even before COVID, 9 out of 10 managers will have had coughs and colds because their immunities are low. I am trying to preach to people something that I didn't do but I would like them to learn from my experience. Take a little step back and look after yourself. How much Cotterill can switch off is debatable. The Shrewsbury Centre half Matt Pennington spoke on Friday about games last year and Cotterill was in hospital, but couldn't fully stay away. The manager when he felt well enough was on the speaker phone at halftime, at full time, using every ounce of energy he had left from fighting the virus to spur us on. He was trying to help because we were trying to stay in the league last year and it is a miracle that we did. My hours of sleep were all over the place is how Cotterill remembers it. The amount of steroids, I slept very little over 24-hour periods, for weeks and months. I would wake up after a dose and write some things down, I was on the oxygen, but everything was fine to do that. The only time I couldn't help out was when I was in intensive care. Shrewsbury are relatively well crewed going into the tie, though their promising striker, Dan Udo, remains a doubt but it's still a mystery what sort of team Klopp will be able to put out after the two-day closure of the Liverpool training ground last week and the postponement of their Carabao Cup semi-final, first leg against Arsenal on Thursday night after a COVID outbreak in the squad and staff. Two years ago in a fourth-round FA Cup replay against Shrewsbury at Anfield, Klopp and his senior players were absent because they were on a winter break, but the Liverpool under-23s, managed by Neil Critchley, were still good enough to squeeze through with a 1-0 victory. Cotterell wasn't at the club then, but his zeal concerning COVID and people getting the message about its dangers meant that he wasn't going to play down the sense of occasion this time round. Liverpool will appreciate his honesty as much as anybody else.